All right, it is Tuesday, June 19th, and this is an update on my Melorganite versus starter fertilizer and my rate comparison of dithiopyr, one half rate versus full rate. Here we go. A reminder, my plots are this log and over starter fertilizer, the bisecting point here, and clear across basically to this tree. And over this way is Melorganite, in the back corner here is the control with nothing on it. The whole area has dithiopyr at one half rate, the recommended rate. Here is the Melorganite section, it's doing quite well. I could definitely tell a difference between the control area and the Melorganite section. The Melorganite is much more green, much more lush. It's just looking a lot more healthy. There are some areas that I think I got some brown patch. It could be a combination of that and heat stress here. It's not growing nearly as well as other areas like back here and right here. Um, there is some weeds coming up. Here I got some, uh, looks like some, some type of sedge going on right here. Uh, we got some other broad leaves coming, poking through. But overall, being this is the first year I've had this lawn, I'm really happy with it. Second, let's take a look at the starter fertilizer section. Here is my starter fertilizer plot. It's doing just as well as the Melorganite section. I cannot tell a noticeable difference between the two. Lastly, let's take a look at the control area. Here is my control section. It's doing far worse than the other two areas with fertilizer. It's got a lot more brown patch going on here. Um, it's not nearly as green, not nearly as full and lush. Even in the areas that have a lot more shade, nearly shaded all day over here and it's still not doing as well. My whole back lawn, my south lawn, used to be a wooded area, so it's not surprising. I'm having quite a few weeds coming in, some broadleaf weeds. Heck, I've even got some poison ivy coming in. Look at that, that's exciting. Um, so, I mean, I get other things going on too, like this uh, crawdad building a little home right there. Um, anyway, what I'm getting at is uh, the it may be obvious to some, but starter fertilizer, melorganite, fertilizer in general don't really do have any weed protection properties. It's been said, I've heard it said that it'll make it, uh, you know, more dense and less likely to have weeds come through. But if anything, I've noticed there's less weeds over there in my, my control area with no, no fertilizer whatsoever. I've got this ugly little patch right here of weeds. <laughs> I've got weeds all over here, but this is extremely bad. So what happened here was uh, we had a, a Halloween party, the first party in my back south lawn, and I put a fire pit down right here. I put the little mat over it thinking that was gonna be enough, and it wasn't, so it just scorched the grass and killed it, and now, so now I'm gonna need to reseed there in the fall time. Hopefully I get the same seed. Okay, so this is one month in, and I'm nowhere near the end. I'm gonna be having these controlled areas throughout the year. Um, after all, the starter fertilizer is mainly, that I use is mainly quick release nitrogen and whatnot, and the Melorganite is all slow release. So it's a long-term comparison that we're doing right here. All right, that's it.